Like so many people, uh, you really cannot be today out in the British countryside. But if you can combine that with working dogs, it's, uh, it's probably one of the best days you can ever have. I know a lot of people who get offered a day shooting and they say, yeah, it's really kind of you. But they'd almost, if they were to be honest with themselves, say, I'm just as happy go and work my dogs for the day rather than actually take the gun out and have a day shooting for the day. But over recent years, we've noticed a change in those working dogs that we see on shoots. At one stage, it was either a Spaniel or it was a Labrador. There's no other choice in it. But in recent years, the HPR, the Hunt Point Retriever breeds, coming in from Europe have, have gathered in numbers uh, and they greatly add to any day shooting. Well, I've come over today to meet up with Mark and Julie. Mark and Julie run Ashuf Gun Dogs, and they specialize in one of the lesser known breeds of the HPRs, the Slovakian Roughhead Pointer. Let's go and learn a little bit more about the Slovakian. been out with Mark no end of times, I've been with both of you when you've had your training days, I've been over to the kennels many times and, so, and seen the dogs, but where do they come from? What's the origin of it? What, what is it that makes up the, uh, the Slovak as we know it as a breed today? Well, the, the breed originates from um, Czechoslovakia um, and after the Second World War, uh, a lot of the good hunting dogs were lost. The laws of farming and hunting had changed and the hunters required a new dog, a dog that wouldn't stray too far, sort of eight paces either side of working with one man, yeah. or 30 paces in front, just for one man and his gun, yeah. you know, to bring food for the pot. Yeah. What were the dogs originally that they used to breed together to produce it today? What were, what were, the, what were the various breeds that were bought together to create the Slovak as we know it? Well, it's, the amalgamation is the Weimarana, which is where the grey colour comes yeah. from, yeah. which is the predominant colour. And um, the German wire pointer, where the coat comes from, and um, a European hunting dog called a Chesky Fusek, which really just basically means a hairy-faced dog. And it's those, those the main three breeds. The main there three has breeds. been a poodle pointer input somewhere along the line. It first arrived on our shores um, in the late 90s and um, it was accepted onto to the UK import register soon after that. Uh, but now it's, you know, you can, at that particular time, you could only work the, the breed until an import, uh, an interim breed standard was accepted by yep. the kennel club. Yeah. But and then now you can show them. But what is it about a breed? I mean, what is it that makes you and Mark that Somerset is a relatively new breed? It's only been in this country for a couple of decades. What is it that's about the Slovak that you love so much? They're just a, a lovely breed to live with. They're just they're quirky, they're funny, they're affectionate, they're uh, they can be mischievous. But you know, this is a, a working dog and one must never, ever forget that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As, so as a working dog, and in your case as a show dog, do they make a good family pet? If somebody came along and says, oh, I really like it, I like the look of the breed and they've seen a couple, is it something you'd advise that could make a family pet? I think providing that, you know, the, uh, every family must never forget that it's basically a gun dog, yeah. a working gun dog. And that's its mindset. So if its if its mind is uh, exercised and it's happy, it, and it's quite happy to be at home, it's quite happy to be a couch potato. Yeah. It's it's a great family pet. They're great with children, people with disabilities. You know, the older generation. Yeah. They can be really gentle. Yeah. In those situations. So what you probably probably then to sum it up if you've never had a dog before and you're looking for a family pet it's probably not the best choice but if you've got some experience of dogs and you want it as a family pet you'd be all right with a slow yeah. yeah yes yeah. exactly i know you mark yeah i mean i've seen him out with various breeds and i know you've bred several litters of your own but what was the first dog that you had uh, you know 
back at sort of the turn of the century. What was the first dog you and Mark had together? What was the, your first Slovak? Um, well, we we uh, purchased Fen, our first Slovak, um, from Trisha Grimes from the Ansona Kennels. Yeah. And um, that was just while one day out training with Trisha, gun dog training, uh, she had this little fluffy dog that was just adorable it was just it just sat there and took everything in like a big sponge it was brilliant yeah and uh, that was the mother to our first Slovak and uh, we've just never looked back since yeah I know that uh, that both of you are absolutely fanatical about the breed and and actually you, you champion it throughout the British Isles with both showing and working but you're actually a lot more involved in that aren't you you're you're heavily involved with the Slovak club that's right yes um the Slovakian Ruffer Pointer Club was established in uh, 2005 by a group of uh, HPR enthusiasts and, uh, of course, Slovak owners at that time. And the club promotes and protects the breed, or try, and um, we run training days. We have a, an annual working test, gun dog working test, which is open to all HPRs. And we also try and do a day for people who are not really interested in showing or yeah. working. They're just family. For the family pet. Yeah. yeah, for the family pet as well. Yeah. 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 Julie, thanks for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So Mark, when we've been out, I, I've watched the Weimar Armour and it is quite a, quite, I would say, a hard-working dog. It's quite quite a um, determined and thorough dog, whereas mm. I look at the Slovak at the side of it and I always see a, a much gentler dog, and an, an easier going, a, a slower paced dog, but equally as thorough. Would, would you agree with that? And does that come out in the training, would you say, Mark? I totally agree with that, and uh, they're not as flashy as a Weimar on a, a Slovakian sort of Rufair pointer isn't. I just enjoy working them, you know, they're not, there's no pressure. No yeah. pressure when you're working a Slovak. So would you say that, uh, I mean, the HPR, you know, as an entity is, is forever growing across the British Isles. If somebody was looking for a uh, HPR for their first one, would the Slovak be a good choice as taking one on, uh, you know, somebody who's made out Spaniels or Labradors in the past and they're looking to move into it, would you say that a Slovak would be a good choice for them to pick up and move with? I think it would be a brilliant choice. Of course, it's very difficult, you know, within the HPR subgroup, you've got GSPs, which are obviously very popular, Vizslas, Wired Vizslas. People tend to go for the top four or five choices. Slovaks are minority breed. They're, they're right down at the bottom, which is a shame that they have an awful lot to offer, you know, whether it's working trials, uh, agility, working tests, field trials. They do tick every single box. What, what kind of numbers um, do you think there are, I mean, uh, actively working on shoots, you know, as a, as a working gun dog? Is, is it, are we in the, the tens or the hundreds up and down the country? I'd say maybe 20, maybe 30 to push, mate. It's not so a great lot. Uh, two, no. or th two or three dozen working dogs mm. the entire length mm. of the country. I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think so. So from what you're saying, Mark, is I mean, if you go back to Europe, you know, where, where the Slovaks, well, with all the HPRs, I mean, they originally come from, it was a different style of hunting, a different style of shooting to what we know in the British Isles. And they're out with a rifle, they shoot a deer, and it would be tracking the, a, a, a clipped deer or an injured deer through a wood. And that is where that nose comes in, That's, that hunting and that scenting nose comes in, particularly that tracking. That, that. Is that still relevant, do you think, on a, on a typical driven shoot in the UK? Uh, I think it is fairly relevant. You know, out, out in Europe, then there isn't so much driven shooting at all. So um, the dog, there's not a lot of game out there. So you know, if anything is out there, the dogs have got to find it. And Slovaks are brilliant. You know, they're up there with the best. They really are. And they'll find anything that's that, that's about. You know, they're an air scenting dog. So if uh, like today, um, you know, we've got uh, longer grass here, a Slovak will keep its head up. As long as you're running them into the wind, mostly they'll find yeah. anything that's out there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's early summer now. We're looking forward to the coming season. Um, have you got a new young pup coming on or have you got anything that you're planning for yourself coming over the next season or so? Um, well, we've got uh, a youngster, well, say youngster, three years old now, but um, I, I, Harbour's my main working dog, you know. Yeah. She's worked on three different shoots and I love her. I, I enjoy working her, you know. Um, 
and she's just a joy to be with and a joy to be around and uh, she makes me look good <laughs> on shoot days <laughs> which is a bonus but I, I love her to bits you know yeah. she's 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 my once-in-a-lifetime dog, you know, yeah. so I treasure every day that I've got with her. Working a minority breed that is totally different from what a lot of people say, uh, when the drive's usually finished, the guns are some, some of the guns. In fact, some of the beetles will come up to me, excuse me, what breed of dog's that? You know, is it a lurcher? <laughs> so, <laughs> no, it's a Slovakian rough hair pointer. It's unbelievable times that I've had with Mark and Julie, just to watch them with their dogs. They are absolutely passionate about working dogs in general, but particularly about the Slovak. And they champion it throughout the British Isles, both working and for showing. It's a relatively new breed. It hadn't even existed before the end of World War II, and even less time here in the British Isles. And yet they would do so much work through the club, through working it, and really make it a popular breed, which it deserves to be. Oh. And if you're just wondering the name, a shoof, where does a shoof come from? Well, the answer's really simple. A shoof is a small Belgian village where Mark's late mother used to live. And that's where the name comes from, a shoof gun dogs. Till next time.